You know, uh, we've said this before. I'm sorry if it's redundant, but um, remember Joshua, uh, Josiah's fire, the book, <laughs> yes, and his oh mother goodness. asked him, Josiah, how did it come about that we finally discovered a way for you to communicate? Because they tried everything. They tried therapy. They tried all kinds of techniques. And how did it come about? And Josiah said, Mom, an aunt of yours, who you befriended when you were a little girl, went to an angel and implored that angel to create a portal, so to speak, so that Josiah could communicate into uh, this world, uh, mostly through his mother and this iPad. And uh, so what was the what was the connecting point? It was an ant working with an angel to put heaven and earth together. It's just a powerful story. And of course, what you know what makes that so believable is that the Josiah did not have any upbringing in charismatic kind of gifts and supernatural. That wasn't his paradigm at all. His mom, not even the paradigm of his parents. And so to speak like that was something very foreign to his earthly culture. And I say this about that book is, uh, of the books I've read, which I can't say it's a lot, but, you know, in the last five years, I've read probably 70 books, 75 books. Uh, But uh, Josiah's Fire, which I read five years or so before that, was probably the most believable about being able to see into the heavenlies because of the sheer fact that this was a kid who had absolutely zero earthly paradigm from which to filter his perceptions. And that that just, that put money in the bank for me.